So I've got another video that shows you how to create a pretty simple chart or graph to insert into your spreadsheet based on the data that's there. Um, and I'm, I also want to show you how to create a graph that's like a little bit more complex. So in my other video, I created a simple pie chart that just compared the category of spending to the monthly spending so far. So just two columns. In this case, what I'm going to show you how to do is what if I want to know the category and also how much I spend per week and I want to put it in graphical form. So the first thing I need to do is kind of quote unquote get rid of the columns that I'm not interested in having in my graph. Um, so in that case it's B and C. I'm not interested in what the average American spends or my monthly budget. So I'm going to highlight those two rows. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say I want to hide those two columns. And these are the columns I'm now interested in, A, D, E, F, and G. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that data that I'm interested in making a graph of. I'm going to go to Insert. I'm going to choose Chart. And you'll see what happened here is, okay, so here it is. Here's the category. And when you're making a chart or graph, you always want to kind of like take stock of what Google Sheets is recommending you use because sometimes the recommendation is pretty good and sometimes it needs some tweaking. So, um, so for example, here you can see housing. Uh, I've got the blue bar, which is my week one spending, and then um, some green, which is my week four. And you can see in other categories where I've spent each week, all four colors show up in the bar. So this is not too bad. Um, I'm going to actually give it a look if I flip it this way instead and see if I like that better or worse. Um, and in a way, I kind of I kind of prefer this one. It's totally up to you. Um, you can also see a totally different version. If I click over here, so these ones have uh, the weekly spending kind of stacked one on top of the other. You can also switch it so that each category has a skinny little line for each week of the spending. To me, this is slightly harder to read because the, the bars are so thin. So I'm gonna go back to this view, which I think is my favorite so far. And there's a couple things I can do. Um, I can go over here to chart types and this will give me even more options, but I'm pretty pleased with this one as it is. And then I can also go to customization and there's a bunch of stuff I can change. So for example, I don't think week one, week two, week three, week four is a great title for my graph. Instead, I kind of want to put weekly spending oops, by category because that more accurately describes what I'm doing here. Um, I can change the position of the legend. So it's um, over on the right now. I could put it up at, um, up at the top if I wanted to. Um, and I kind of actually, I think I like that one better, so I'm going to leave it up at the top, but you can play around and kind of get the look that you're looking for. Um, bunch of other stuff, you can change the font, you can change the background color, so if I think this looks pretty drab just as white, maybe I want to change it to like a, a light pink background color to make it stand off of my page more. You know, you can kind of play around uh, and do whatever you'd like here to kind of make it look as nice as you would like to. And then when you are ready to go, you go ahead and push insert and it pops your graph right onto the spreadsheet for you. And you can kind of move it around the page a little bit so that it's not covering your data anymore. Um, and then you can always go back. If you notice that um, something is wrong, you can go back and push this um, arrow right here and go to advanced edit and that will take you back to uh, all of these options that we were sort of toying around with. Um, I also want to show you that from this same menu you can save the image so if your goal was not for this this data chart to live in your spreadsheet but rather to put it into um, a Google Doc or a um, slideshow or something like that you can copy the chart you can um, also save the image um, so there's a bunch of options you can use there. And that is how you basically insert a, a more complex graph or chart into your spreadsheet. Hi, this is Jessica from NextGen Personal Finance. I hope my video made you love spreadsheets as much as I do. NGPF is a nonprofit organization offering free personal finance resources for high school teachers to use with their students. 
Frankly, our curriculum is amazing. Be sure to check out our website or watch my entire playlist of helpful spreadsheet videos. Enjoy!